My name is Dina Kefefi. Um, I am an artist by training and a social entrepreneur by passion. My social enterprise is named Sinawaya, which means the Sinai Way. Sinawaya is all about uh, loving, cherishing, learning from and doing um, in terms of the Bedouin community, the culture, the nature there. So Sinawaya basically has three main areas of work. One is ethnobotanical research, where we collect information about the different plants, uh, medicinal and cultivated plants that exist in St. Catherine. Our second area of work is about garden rehabilitation. We collect volunteers uh, that want to be part of this uh, re-greening of the mountains. And we work with the Bedouin families that own the gardens to rehabilitate them, uh, plant more uh, local plant species, and bring them back to life so they can become a form a productive uh, garden for the Bedouin and for the landscape as well. And our third area of work involves our brand, which is called Bidu. It's about being and doing for the Bedouin. Um, Bidu offers a product line of plant medicines and um, preserves and jams and foods that are all produced from the land. I mean, St. Catharines is uh, quite a small community. And when you're part of a small community, you really, most relationships are based on one-to-one -one contact. So over time, I've build, been building relationships with different people and uh, letting them know what it is that we're doing, um, building a friendship more than anything, understanding what it is that they make or produce. And through that, we're able to uh, agree on different products, uh, develop different products together. And uh, from there, my, my job is to relay what it is that we agreed together, take it back to Cairo, package it with uh, my team over there and distribute it to various sellers. And we're entering um, more organic shops, places that have a reach to the local community in Cairo that is more interested in healthy foods, that understand what organic food is and uh, are more of a conscious uh, customer. Um, so basically, I'm, I'm connected to people in St. Catherine and while I'm there, I'm constantly in conversation with different people, uh, what it is that they complain about, what struggles they face, what obstacles there are, what it is that they, they think is really important to conserve and so on. And this is actually an honor for me uh, to, to be able to create a reach for people um, in a marginalized place, uh, in a sense, and to be a trusted personality where people would actually hear what I have to say regarding uh, the community with which I work. Basically, everything that we're building here is based on good intention. And I truly believe outside of uh, business and so on that if you do good, good returns. Um, I feel I have something to offer to the local community just as well as they do for me. Uh, we learn from each other and uh, I can offer a structural way to work, uh, to try to find a way to keep this project uh, to continue. Working with what you have, regenerating the spaces where food is produced and producing in limited supply to a small market uh, until the areas which you are cultivating and growing grow enough to give you a, a larger produce that you can then expand in other markets. And this is really the awareness building that we're trying to do as we work with different people. Um, it's a slow process and it requires a lot of patience as does anything in terms of uh, cultivation and permaculture and so on. But I really believe that that's the way to self-sustenance.